What's up guys? Welcome to another Build a Break Garage episode. Today's episode we install a radio into Scotty's car. And uh, we're going to install some subs, a head unit, and run all the wiring. So we'll take you along with us. Before we get started, uh, just uh, I made a video, or I, tried, I was going to make a video the other day, and I started uh, doing something to my car, which I put a new lip on it. So I ended up not filming as much, so, but I'm just going to cut to the thing. We had news about the 240. We're going to cut to that really quick. And uh, thank God that uh, it didn't start on fire. So uh, that story is right now. So I got out here and I started working. The first thing I needed to fix was we messed with the fuel rails in the 240 a couple of weeks back. And we pinched one of the O-ring gaskets going into the fuel rail. So I actually uh, went and replaced it. As you can see right here, it'll focus. It's an O-ring on uh, number three. And so it was just get, pull and fuel all over the place. Well. I went and fixed it and thought I got it all got all seated back in the injector rail, which clearly I didn't. Because uh, all of that, yeah, that's all gas. And you also, that's the fuel, that's the fire extinguisher. Because as you can hear, we're running the torpedo, so that makes it super sketch. So uh, yeah, that was uh, that was a sketchy little uh, thing right there. But uh, luckily, the car has the cars all dried off. You know, all the fuel's gone. It didn't catch fire, so that's a good thing. Yeah, so now we're gonna get started on wiring this uh, amp up. First thing we're gonna do is go ahead and get the head unit installed. Then we'll be running all the wires for the uh, amp in the back. Enjoy the view from the 360 cam. So first things first, go ahead and get this shroud off around the radio, which is easy. There's two push-in clips, like right here. You just push in the center and then pop them right out. And then, it's two seven mil bolts right up top here, and I believe that's it. I haven't pulled a stock radio in a Saturn in a while, so hopefully I didn't forget how to do it. <laughs> well, I'll check in once the new head unit is in. Okay, well, we just ran into our first little speed bump here. So, basically, Scotty got this stereo connector, which says clearly it is for Saturns, 91 to 99, but this, like, it almost lines up, but it doesn't. So, it looks like we're making a little trip to go find one that actually does work. So, we should probably take that old one with us. So, we got uh, the right plug now. We went to the store and got it. So, now I have to take all this spaghetti and hook it all up. Uh, then, it's just a matter of installing it into the car. So now comes the tedious process of wiring all the scrap up. It works. Radio's all good. It's mounted. So, now it's a matter of running all these all the way to the back through the bottom next thing to do is the subs now the fun part begins all right so we just got the power wire ran for the amp and uh the best way to do it on these cars especially being an automatic is i normally take out the plug for where the uh safe cylinder would normally go and since it's an automatic it doesn't have it so i drill a hole through that rubber grommet and i run the wire right up through here and we just put it right into the fuse box and then uh in the inside i run it up over and I'm running all the wires through here. I run them under the carpet here and then they go up to the rear speakers. Super easy. Once we start wiring up the amp, I'll show you guys that too. Okay, so we got the wires all ran to the amp. We're just about to hook them up. I got a nice ground source here, and it down the panel. Uh, mounted the amp onto the back of the stair or back of the seat here so it folds up and down. And once this uh, flap covers it, it actually covers up a lot of the wires so it looks really clean. And we just gotta hook them up to the uh, stereo. But other than that, things are going pretty good. We'll check in with you when we start making noise. So we got done installing it. Uh, let me show you guys the finished product. So, obviously, we got the subs back here. It's gonna be impossible to see that. I won't pull down his back seat, but you saw where the amp was. We got all the wires nice and tucked away, so it looks really good. It hits like crazy. <laughs> like, it's way, way louder than the stuff I've got. It works out great for him, it's what he likes, so. But, uh, we are definitely done for the day. I don't really have anything else planned, so we're gonna leave it off here. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to give us a like, comment, subscribe, and be sure to comment some suggestions of what other things you might wanna see. Like, again, keep it easy, um, like motor swaps and stuff. I mean, eventually we'll get to that stuff, but I mean, for right now, come on, let's, uh, you know, simple stuff. <laughs> but uh, thank you for watching, and uh, you guys have a great day. Peace.